please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. When I was younger, my mom would always play old school hip hop and R&B from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And so I would, I would be doing something normal, like uh, doing homework one night. And my mom would connect her phone to the speaker, and she starts to play all these old school jams. So uh, from artists like Michael Jackson, Alicia Keys, Stevie Wonder, the Fugees, and, um, and she would connect, and one day she put specifically on Ready or Not by the Fugees. And she connected her speaker. Then she started to play the song, and you could hear the music booming throughout the house, all the vibrations of the rhythm dancing off the walls. And then my mom starts to harmonize along with the song. And feeling so moved with the energy in the room, I decided to harmonize with her. And we sang, ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. Gonna find you and take it slowly. And that harmony, that sound is what defined my childhood and always made me feel safe. All of this feeling and connecting to my roots and to all that made me feel safe at home was mostly before I started middle school. So before I really started to get into all these social relationships and trying to make friends, trying to have a group, a buddy to hang out with at lunch and all that. Um, and when I did get to middle school, I wanted to be social. I, I did want the friends and I wanted people to be with me. So I tried to see, okay, who, how are people looking? Um, what do people like? And let's talk. So I brought up to people, hey, do you know Lauren Hill? Do you know Whitney Houston? And the people in my, in my grade would look at me and say, Whitney Houston, uh, who's that? And mind you, they did not look like me. They weren't people of color like me, nor were they Caribbean like me. And so they didn't really understand my rhythm. In fact, they would not dance on rhythm. And <laughs> so, and uh, they also liked artists more so like Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift. And I mean, respect, respect if you like them. Uh, but <laughs> not necessarily my immediate cup of tea. I thought, but okay, like you like that and I wanna be, and I, wanna f I really wanna find a friend. So you know what, I'm gonna learn your song. I started to learn songs like, baby, 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 oh, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> just not for me. <laughs> so I realized that um, just because they were maybe judging my rhythm and just because they weren't willing to learn, just because they didn't understand my rhythm didn't mean that I had to force myself to change my own rhythm. So just because they were dancing to a different beat didn't mean that I had to immediately synchronize with their own. And I decided I was gonna be able to stand, to stand or sit in a corner on my own and put my headphones in my ear and listen to my favorites and listen to Ready or Not if I had to. And not only if I had to, but I had to be, I must be myself. So I was willing to sit in the corner and listen to my music by myself. Then I got to high school and I started to meet more people of color like me who, who got my rhythm, who like were able to dance on beat with me and were, who were able to sing the same songs. They knew who Whitney Houston was and they knew of course Stevie Wonder and all these people and so I realized, oh, we have more stuff in common. Um, and yet I still didn't necessarily share all of the music that I loved for fear that someone way in the back of the group, like even as we were dancing in this huddle, someone way in the back of the group might come and say, who are you all listening to? Who's that? 
I wasn't ready to take that. And so I didn't share all of my music. But one day, I met this girl named Samantha. And she was Caribbean like me and is in my grade. And we clicked on so many different things, culture, food, um, rhythm, sound. And I thought, OK, well, I've met this person I, I really enjoy. Maybe I could share a little bit more of myself. And so one day, I walked through the lobby of uh, our school building. I was feeling so confident um, that I decided, OK, I'm going to put my earbuds in, and I'm going to blast Ready or Not. And it's going to be, I'm going to enjoy this entrance into school, and it's amazing. And so I was feeling this confidence. I started to skip down the hall and was humming the song really loudly. And so now the skipping turns into prancing, and I'm, uh, I am go all the way up to the third floor of our building, and now I'm totally strutting down the hall. And, um, and I sit in front of my locker, humming and enjoying the sound, tapping my foot to the beat. And slowly I notice that my friend is humming along with me, and she knows the song. And not only that, but slowly she starts slowly as I am more in and in and come more into my music, I start full on singing my song and she starts to sing along with me. And so then I realized that I didn't have to hide all of myself anymore. I didn't have to, I didn't have to keep myself closed. For once I could sing loudly at, at least with this one person and then eventually more people might join along if they want. For now, I can be fully me. And so we have been harmonizing, singing full on ever since. <laughs>